Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Shlishi, Daf, Chaf Aleph, Bet, uh, Chapter 3, Page 21b. I'm just going to start from uh, the beginning of this uh, small sugya on the pre at the end of the previous page. And I'll tell you when I get get to the top of uh, 21b. The Amar Rav Yehuda Amar Shmuel Rav Yehuda say in the name of Shmuel hit palel v'nichnas lavet hakneset. Someone prayed and entered entered a shul that is prayed Shmuel Esrei. Umat zatzi bor shimi palelin and found the congregation reciting Shmuel Esrei the prayer tefila. Im yachol lechadesh b'davar if you're able to add something new to it yachazovit palel he should go back and recite the prayer again. The im love if not al yachazovit palel he should not go back and recite the prayer again. Utricha both teachings are necessary. Dei ashminan kamai kamaita if he taught us only the first one. Hane mile yachid v'yachid that only applies to when. Uh, an individual recited first prayer and began the second prayer as an individual. Now the beginning of the top of the kafalef bet. Or tzibur red tzibur. Or it applies uh, when uh, a person recited the first prayer as part of congregation uh, and began the second part of a congregation too. Aval yachid lagabe tzibur. But an individual in relation to a congregation uh, this is not significant. Kaman de lo dame. It is as if the person had not yet prayed at all. Kamash malan. Shmuel informs us otherwise. The e ashminan hacha. And if Shmuel had taught us here, mishon de lo atchil ba. Because he has not yet begun. Aval hatam de atchil ba. But there is where he had begun. Shmon esre. E malo. I say the ruling does not apply. Tricha, it is necessary for Shmuel to state uh, that he must repeat or complete the prayer. Tricha, it is necessary. Amar Rav Huna, Rav Huna said, Hanich nas levet hakneset, one who enters the synagogue to pray, or matzatzi bush in and finds the congregation has already begun praying Shmuel Esre, im yacholat chilevili gmo, if he is able to begin and complete his own prayer Shmuel Esre, ad shelo yagia shaliach tzibor limodim, before the prayer leader, um, before the prayer leader, um, begins his repetition of Shmuel Esre, reaches and reaches the modim blessing, yit palel, he should begin to pray, be im laf, if he is unable to complete by modim, uh, Ali Palel, he should not begin to pray, so rather uh, let him wait for the Shlech uh, Tibor to reach Modim. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi Amar, Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said, Im yacholit lehat chil veligmo, if he's able to begin and complete Shmone Esre, ad shelo yagia shalich tibor liktusha, before the prayer leader reaches Kedusha, Yit Palel, he should begin to pray. The Imlaf, if not Ali Palel, he should not pray, but should wait. Bemai Ka Bemiflege, over what do they argue? Maseva, one master maintains, that's Rav Huna, Yachid Omer Kedusha, an individual may recite Kedusha in his own private Shmonesre. Or Maseva, whereas the other master, Reb Yosho Ben Levi, maintains, Ein Yachid Omer Kedusha, an individual, uh, Praying with the congregation does not recite Kedusha in his own private Shmon Ezra. Vechen Amar Rav Ada Bar Ahava, and so said Rav Ada Bar Ahava, Minayin She'en Hayachid Omer Kedusha, from where do we know that an individual does not recite Kedusha? Shneemar, for it's written, Binikdash di Betoch ben Israel, and I shall be sanctified among the children of Israel. Kol Dabar She'bikdusha lo yehe pachot me'asara. So in all matters of sanctity, in all matters of Kedusha, it should not involve less than 10 men. So now we're going to just scroll down. So we're just on the screen, we're at the top of the screen. We just finished Pachot Masara. We're starting May. We're about a quarter of the way down the page. 
My mashma, how is it implied that ten are required? Detane Rabane Rabnai Ahuha de Rabbi Chia bar Abba Rabbanai the the brother of Rab Chia bar Abba taught Atya Toch Toch. This is derived from among among a Gzera Shava. Kitiv Hachai is written here Venikdash di betoch ben Israel and I shall be sanctified among the children of Israel. Uchtiv Hatam and it's written there Hibadlu mitoch. Ha'eda hazot. Separate yourselves from among this congregation. Both words use the word toch. Ma lehalan asara. Just as there in the case, this is where Korach is with a group of ten men. Av kan asara. So to here, uh, we need, uh, there is a kedusha sanctification among ten men. Udechule alma mi hat mi psak lo pasik now all uh, agree that's both Rav Huna and Rabbi Yosho ben Levi now all agree at least not to interrupt uh, private Shimon Esrei to respond to respond to kedusha or modim ibai lehu they inquired mahu leavsik le lihe shmo hagadol mevorach what about interrupting to say uh, uh, yeheshmei mevorach may his great name be blessed. And that's when you hear Kaddish. Ki ata Rav Dimi ama when Rav Dimi came from Bavel to Israel, he said, Rabbi Yodah ben Rabbi Shimon, tell me David, Rabbi Yochanan Amre, Rabbi Yodah and Rabbi Shimon, students of Rabbi Yochanan said, La kol ein masikin, for everything we do not interrupt Shimon Esre, chutz min yehesh moha gadol mevorach, except for, may his great name be blessed, yesh mevorach, Shafilu Osek Bamase Merkava for even if one is involved in Maase Maase Merkava What's that? So I'll just do that again. Shafilu Osek Bamase Merkava, even if you're involved in contemplating Maase Merkava, Posek you must interrupt. Vele tilchata kavate. Nevertheless, the halacha does not follow this, so you cannot interrupt Shimon Esri for any prayer response. Rabbi Yodo Amer, Rabbi Yodo said, Mevaret lifnei v'lachrehem. A Balkari recites the blessings that precede and follow the Shmana meal. Lameimrak de kasava. Rabbi Yodo, is this to say Rabbi Yodo maintains a Balkari muta b'dvei Torah? Balkari is permitted to say words of Torah. Rav Amar, Rabbi Yosho ben Levi, did not Rabbi Yosho ben Levi say minayin la Baal Kari she'asu b'tivrei Torah? From where do we know that Baal Kari is bad from saying words of Torah? Shnei Amar, it's written, v'hodatam levanecha v'livnei vanecha, and you shall make them known to your children and your children's children. V'samichle, and the Torah places next to this, yom asher amarata v'gomer, the day that you stood, and that was stood at Har Sinai, Male alam baale karayin asurin. Just as there, those who experienced a seminal omission were forbidden to, um, they weren't allowed to go to, to accept the Torah before they immersed. Af kan baale karayin, karayin asurin. So too here, in regards to Torah study, those who experienced a seminal omission are forbidden before they immerse. Vechitema. Now, perhaps you will say, Rabbi Yodua, lo darish, smulchim. Rabbi Yodua does not expound the juxtaposition of the verses, so he rejects this. Vama, Rav Yosef, but Rav Yosef said, Afilu man de lo darish, smulchim bechol Torah. Even one who does not expound the juxtaposition uh, of passages in the Torah, but Mishnah Torah, darish in the book of 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 Dvarim, that's Deuteronomy, he does expound juxtapositions, Daha, Rabbi Yodah v'lo darish, smulchim b'cholat ha for Rabbi Yodah does not expound juxtaposition of passages in the entire Torah, of Mishneh Torah, darish, but in the book of Dvarim, he does expound. Just to scroll down. So where... Um, we're one, two, three, four, we're five lines up from the bottom of the first narrow section. We just said the words, uh, uh, 
sorry, six lines up, Torah Darish. So we're going to start over Chol HaTorah. And the screen would just towards the top of the screen. Now, from where do we know that he does not expound uh, in the entire Torah, except for Dvarim Tetanya, for his Tottenham Baraisa, Ben Azai Omer, Ben Azai said, It is stated you should not permit a sorceress to live. And it is stated anyone who lies with an animal shall be put to death. Smacho inyan lo scripture the Torah juxtapos- juxtaposed <coughs> the sorceress next to one who lies with an animal. Lo mama shochev im behema beskila to say just as one who lies with an animal is, is put to death by straining af mechashefa nami beskila so to a sorceress is liable for straining is liable to death by straining. Amale Rabbi Yoda. Rabbi Yoda said to Ben Azai Vechi, Mipnei She Smacho, Inyan Lo Notzi, Laze Leskila. Is it just because scripture juxtaposed a passage to the passage of one who lies with an animal? We single out this one for death by stoning. Ela, <coughs> rather, of Vidoni Bichlal Kol, Hemechashvim, Hayu, of, and you don't know we're included in the general category of sorcerers. <coughs> Belama yet 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 why were the uh, why were they singled out? Why were the practitioners of Yov of Yidonis singled out? Lehakish Lahem Velama Lecha to compare to them and to tell you Ma of Vidoni Biskila, just as Elvin Yidoni are liable to death by stoning Af Mecha Shefa Biskila so two sorcerers are liable um, by, to death by stoning of Mishneh Torah Mena Landedarish. Now, from where do we know in, in Deuteronomy he talks, he uh, expounds juxtapositions? Detanya, for it was taught in a Brisa, Rabbi Elias Eliezer, Omer, Rabbi Eliezer said, Nase Adam Anusat Aviv Ume Futat Aviv, a man may marry the woman violated by his father and the woman seduced by his father, Anusat Beno Ume Futat Beno, the woman violated by his son and the woman seduced by his son, Rabbi Yoda Se Banasu Banusat Aviv, Rabbi Yoda prohibits a woman violated by his father. <coughs> Mefutat Aviv and a woman seduced by his father, but Ama Rav Gidel, Ama Rav and Rav Gidel said in the name of Rav Mai Tamad Rabbi Yoda, what is the reason of Rabbi Yehuda? Dirti for it's written Lo Yikach Ish et Eshet Aviv, a man shall not marry the wife of his father, Velo Yigale Knaf Aviv, no shall cover the robe of his father, Kanaf Shara Aviv Lo Yigale, a son shall not uncover the robe that his father saw. We might we may devas a deva anusat aviv kativ now from where uh, is it written with regard to a woman uh, violated by his father? Desamich Levenatanish Hashochev Ima Vegomer for next to this verse. Uh, it says, "Then the man that lay with her, with her, shall give, etc." <clears throat> Amre, ein ben Mishne Torah Darish. Yes, in Deuteronomy, Rabbi Yehuda does expound uh, juxtapositions of passages. Vahane smuchin. However, these juxtaposed passages. Mibai le li dach de Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi are needed by Rabbi Yoda ben Levi uh, for a different by Rabbi Yoda for a different teaching by for a different teaching of Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi. De Amma Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi for Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi said Kol Hamila Medliv no Torah anyone who teaches his son Torah Maale I love Hakatov Keilo Kibla Meha Chorev Scripture deems it as if he received the Torah from from Mount Sinai, from Horev, Chorev, Shnema, Vehodatam, Levanechev, Livnei Vanecha, you shall make them known to your sons and to your grandsons, Uchtiv, Batre, and Falang, that it is written, Yom Asher, Marita, Livnei Hashem, Elokecha, Bechorev, the day you stood before Hashem, your God, El Chorev. <coughs> Tanan, we learned in a Mishnah, Zav, Shara, Shara, Akeri, Zav, who experienced a seminal discharge, 
Venida, Shepalta, Shichvat, Zera, and Anida who emit semen. Hamash Hamesha Meshet, Ratadam, and a woman who had intercourse and then saw Nida blood. Shrikhin, Tvila, all of these people need to immerse in a mikvah before they say words of Torah. But Rabbi Yodah Apote, but Rabbi Yodah exempt from immersion. Adkan, Lopata, Rabbi Yodah Ela, Bezav Shirakeri. Rabbi Yoda goes so far as to exempt a Zav who experiences seminal discharge to Me'ikara Lav Batvila, who, inasmuch as such a person, person, was not originally subject to immersion from Ezra's decree. Aval Balkeri Gere, sorry, Gerita, <coughs> but a Balkeri alone, Mechaev, Rabbi Yoda would obligate to immerse. Now perhaps you'll say, Hu hadin de afilo baal keri gerida nami pata rabbi yoda. It is also it is also so that rabbi yoda exempts even a baal keri alone. Miflegebes of shara keri, and that uh, he and the sages argue about a zav who experienced a seminal discharge. Discharge lehadiyacha kochan de rabbanan is to inform you of the extent of the sage's stringency. Amar Sefa, consider the end of the Mishnah. Hameshameshet Vratadam, a woman who had intercourse and then saw Nida blood Tvila requires immersion before Torah words Laman Katanela. Now, for whose benefit was this case taught? Ilema Rabbanan, perhaps you will say, for the benefit of the sages, Peshita. This is obvious. Hashta <clears throat> umma zav shura keri. Now, if for a zav who experienced a seminal discharge, deme ikara la av bar tvilahu, where at first a zav, a person, was not uh, required to immerse. Mechayeve rabbanan the sages, the rabbanan required to immerse. Hameshameshet ratadam. A woman who had intercourse and afterwards saw Nida blood, Deme Ikara, but Tvilahi, where at first she was subject to immersion by Israel's decree. Lo Kol Sheken does, uh, uh, so not certainly, so doesn't she require immersion before Torah? Ela lav Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda, he rather, is it not Rabbi Yehuda? So the Mishnah was taught for the benefit of Rabbi Yoda. Ve davka katane la, and if, and Rabbi Yoda taught this case in particular to demonstrate um, uh, a leniency.